the truth is out there, and some people have seen it. Allegedly. This is Unveiled, and today we're uncovering history's most notable, alarming, and intriguing alien abduction stories. Are you a fiend for facts? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more fascinating content. Over the years, alien abductions have come in a variety of ways, but there are certain key ingredients in most cases. Reports typically involve the abductee being taken by an apparently non-human, not-of-this-world entity, sometimes aboard an alien ship and sometimes not. Then, while every abduction story differs slightly, recurring themes and events include mind control, physical probing and experimentation, some kind of sexual-slash-reproductive experience, and or the aliens issuing a warning about the future of life on Earth. The first widely publicized alien abduction story in America was that of Betty and Barney Hill in September 1961. The couple claimed to have encountered a UFO while driving through New Hampshire at night. The flying saucer-like vehicle was said to be about 50 feet long, rotating, and according to Barney, who witnessed them through binoculars, it contained up to 11 humanoid figures. One of those figures reportedly communicated to Barney that the couple should remain where they were, but they drove off in a panic. They didn't get far, though, before the UFO hovered over their car, a humming noise filled their ears, and the Hills ultimately experienced missing time, where, for a long stretch, their memory of events is patchy to non-existent. Afterwards, the Hills reportedly found their clothing to be damaged, particularly Betty's dress, and there were strange markings on the car. Then, a week and a half after the alleged encounter, Betty claimed to have a series of unusually vivid dreams, which revealed further details of her abduction to her including that she had been inside the saucer, that she'd spoken with the leader of the humanoid figures, and that various tests were carried out on her, like the taking of skin and fingernail samples, and the painful insertion of a massive needle into her stomach. More than two years later, and both Betty and Barney underwent hypnosis too, during which both recalled similar, often distressing memories of the experience. Unsurprisingly, although the Hill abduction story captured national attention, many were left unconvinced by the account. Among the criticisms and arguments against it were that what the Hills experienced may have been the result of driving while sleep-deprived or while stressed. Because the hypnosis was carried out so long after the event itself, the validity of those accounts has also been called into question. And the Hills' description of what the aliens looked like were, for some, too suspiciously close to a number of sci-fi depictions on TV at the time. Nevertheless, Betty and Barney's account remains one of the most famous and debated abduction stories today an iconic tale for UFO enthusiasts. This case did get a lot of behind-the-scenes attention from some very interesting scientists. They wanted to know what happened to Betty and Barney Hill. Still, it wasn't quite the first alien abduction claim to make the news. For that, we have to head to South America and Brazil, where in 1957, the farmer Antonio Villas Boas reported an incredible UFO experience. Boas claimed to have been descended upon by a UFO while working in the fields at night. The alien ship at first appeared to him like a red star before getting closer and closer and landing right by him. Boas ran, but was captured and forced inside the craft, where he was covered in an unknown gel and led to a number of rooms for unknown tests. The standout event in Boas' story, though, was that he claimed that during his time on the ship, he had sex with and impregnated one of the aliens. The implication being that this particular visitation resulted in the conception of an alien-human hybrid. When Boas reported feeling ill after the encounter, he visited a doctor and was suspected to be suffering from radiation sickness. He had headaches, nausea, pain in his eyes, bruising, and skin problems. But regardless, his account has never been widely accepted as true. For skeptics, it again bore similarities to other alien abduction stories, including hoax claims previously made by other people. Skepticism was also leveled at one Amy Rylance, when she claimed to have been abducted in Queensland, Australia in 2001. In an event which was reportedly witnessed by her friend, Rylance was allegedly lifted out of her living room on a beam of light into a waiting alien ship. On board, she remembers being subjected to tests, but generally treated well, before she was dropped off three hours later almost 500 miles away from where she started. Rylance's claims were never verified, but her story still stands as one of Australia's most prominent close encounters. In some cases, though, an alien abduction story isn't just one single event, but one of many. Betty Hill, for example, claimed to have been visited by UFOs multiple times throughout her life, after that initial encounter alongside her husband. Hillary Porter from the UK is another who says that she has been abducted more than once. 
In fact, Porter has previously said that she's lost count of how many times she's been visited by aliens, and she suggested that a certain area of Wales could be an alien hotspot. Porter has even helped to set up an alien abduction support group, bringing together more people with more accounts of invasive alien activity. The United States of America is still the world leader when it comes to being abducted by aliens, though. And along with the Hill abduction, there are some cases which stand out against the rest. One is that of Jesse Long, who claims that he was first taken by aliens in 1957 when he was just five years old. Uh, above the hill behind our house, we came up on the, what appeared to be a round house under construction. And one man, a taller looking figure, he had a rod long rod in his hand, a light was emitted from it and we were paralyzed. At which time he was fitted with an implant in his leg. From then, he was allegedly revisited and retaken over and over, and in later years was subjected to DNA extraction until in 1990, during another abduction, he was introduced to his own hybrid alien offspring. Bearing some similarities to the Boas abduction in Brazil, Long's story is today often cited as primary evidence in an alleged alien breeding program. If I could sit down with one of them right now and ask them one question, I would want to know why me and for what reason. Finally, to another of America's most famous UFO incidents, this time centered around Travis Walton. In November 1975, Walton was working as a forester in Arizona with six colleagues when his truck was cut off by a flying disc. Walton got out of the truck to investigate when the object, which was also emitting a high-pitched whirring sound, shot out a beam of light which allegedly knocked Walton unconscious. The next thing Walton knew, he was waking up in an unknown room, watched over by three short humanoid creatures. He was then taken to another room, he had a mask placed over his face, and then he woke up again this time stranded along a highway with the departing saucer flying off into the distance. What makes Walton's encounter especially unique, though, is the extreme case of missing time that he allegedly experienced. Altogether, he was gone for five days before he reappeared with his alien story. Until then, the police had been unable to account for his disappearance and were even treating it as a potential murder inquiry. Since that week in 1975, though, Walton, along with the Hills and Jesse Long, has been somewhat a celebrity in U.S. ufology circles, writing a book in 1978, which was adapted into a movie in 1993. His one-time appearance on the game show The Moment of Truth didn't do much to win over skeptics, though, as when he was asked about the encounter, his answer was deemed false. Still, whether you believe the stories behind all, some, or none of these alleged visitations, over the last few decades they have mounted up and up. Today, you can even purchase alien abduction insurance to protect at least your finances should the worst happen, with reports of thousands of policies being sold, especially in the US and the UK. For believers, it pays to plan ahead, because you just never know when the next alien could land. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.